happy that our first guest is here. We've talked about her on Hot Topics more than any other celebrity, celebrity in our nine seasons of being on. Woo. We count, we keep the record. <laughs> We covered the ups and downs, the highs and lows of her life, but I've always rooted for her. Take a look. And now, on to Lindsay Lohan. Are you ready for this? In Lindsay dating news, Lindsay Lohan is getting married. Lindsay Lohan's got a new job. Lindsay Lohan tried to call me. Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan. Drama seems to follow Lindsay Lohan everywhere she goes. Lindsay was arrested. Is Lindsay Lohan going to jail? All right, so Lindsay Lohan's in jail. Lindsay. Lindsay Lohan and Beyonce fought over who was gonna get the biggest dressing room. Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan. Let's talk about Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan is planning her big Hollywood comeback. We haven't talked about Lindsay Lohan in about five minutes. Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay. 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 Well, it wouldn't be an interesting day in celebrity news, everybody, if we didn't talk about LL. Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> Please welcome the one and only Lindsay Lohan. Everyone's excited that you're here, and they told me that when you walk out, I'm gonna see a star. <laughs> yeah, you got, a, you got a star power thing going on. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let me give you some shoe cam. Put your feet on those feet. I heard about this. And I made sure I wore good. Yep. Yeah. 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 My feet look kind of funny though. <laughs> so, I forgot that we had met at American Idol because yeah, it was no dark. Way. It was very, very quick. And you were getting up and down the whole time. So, <laughs> As one does at American Idol. Well, anything. That, <laughs> that was back in your day. You know what I mean? That was years ago. No, it wasn't because of that. It's very busy there, you know that. It is. And um, you were with your son. Yes. Yeah. Wow, you do remember stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> so, um, we, you are truly, in factually, our most talked about hot topics person in the history of the show. <laughs> yeah. Mom, we've talked about you over 120 times. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether to say thank you or I'm sorry. <laughs> what? No, uh, if you don't know, then it would be a secret. I'm just nervous because your mom and grandmother and everybody's here. I don't it's know where It's my grandmother's 94th birthday Hi, today. Hi, Grandma. She's here. Happy 94th. She's got a tiara. Then my mom is here. Hi, my, Gina. My father's here with his mother and my Aunt Carrie. Hi, Michael. And my Hi, cousin. Other grandma. <laughs> Cousins, everybody. I didn't think that Michael and Dina could be in the same room. Well, they are. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Your mom was here, actually, I think our first or second season. She came to the show. Yeah, so I remember I, my mom was coming to the show. I met her a while ago. I understand that you um, got the whole family together for the holidays? Yeah, well, I was in New York right before Christmas, and then I was traveling again, so we all kind of got together, and whenever I'm here, I try to always spend as much time with my family as I can. Yeah. And your brother and sister? They're at my place right now, hanging out. Nice. brother-sister time. Perfect. <laughs> What's your relationship like with your parents? Great. It's good. I think, you know, in life, parents have their things together, and sometimes the children are immersed in it, and you just have to really step back and let your parents do what they do and figure everything out for themselves. And we all have a great relationship now, so it's nice. Do they get along? Yeah. They get along enough. That's nice. Yeah, it's, it's much simpler that way. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. I've always loved your speaking voice. Thank you. I'm so <laughs> tired of vocal fry and girls who think that you have to talk, you know, <laughs> like that. I haven't heard that kind of accent, like talking like this all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you live in Dubai. Nobody talks like that over there. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was reading that your dad, at one point, um, blamed himself for your uh, problems. I don't know, I think everybody, you know, has their own path in life, and we all go through ups and downs in life, and especially with me kind of being the public, a lot of pressure was on a lot, I couldn't really, I didn't really know how to have a private life, because I was so young and mm -hmm. running around too much and surrounding myself with people that probably shouldn't have been around, mm -hmm. that weren't there really to support me, that were just there for the lifestyle. Um, and so I wouldn't blame anyone on anything I've gone through in my life. You know, my parents have, they're their own people, and everyone goes through things in life, and I was one of them. Wow. Look at you. It's true. All right, back to the people. People who just want the life. 
So now who are your like friends? Like Fairweather friends. Yeah, yeah, I know. Those, I, are the one, those are the ones that helped you get into all the trouble that you got into. I mean, uh, clearly, you well, know. Well, it was a lot, in, in all honesty, it was, you know, living in LA and my, my mom telling me to come back home and me not listening because I didn't want to throw myself back into, I wanted to keep busy with work. Uh -uh. And then when I stopped working after working for, you know, doing 20 something odd films for a, straight, yeah. and then kind of having nothing to do, I was like, oh wait, I can, I can actually go to a club now. I never went to college and had that experience. What I didn't realize was there's cameras watching all the time. Uh -huh. the and club. this was kind of the beginning of it all. So yeah. it was very manic and I'm and I, a very honest person. So I'm like, well, if I want to go, I'm going to go. So what am I going to do? Lock myself at home every day? And, yeah. and, and you live and you learn. And then you had the hangers on friends who convinced you, oh, Lindsay, you're fine. Let's go. Yeah. Are you still friends <laughs> with them? Um, Whoever I don't they are. really talk to any of the people that I really hung out with in Los Angeles. No, no. Um, I'm, I'm a lot. Actually, I'm closest with my family, and we're all closest we've ever been. Mm. In all honesty, and I think that's important. Was there, was there one particular moment that you realized that you had a problem and you needed help? Because I know <clears throat> we did a story here on the show where you were involved in some sort of uh, motor vehicle situation. And you want what, to how many times? What do you mean, once? <laughs> switch seats with the person, though. No, that didn't happen. Oh, we'll see. No, no, no. I, no, I mean, the second time I was arrested, I drove to the police station because I felt guilty. Oh. <laughs> I'm that person, really. Um, uh, I just don't recommend drinking and driving ever. <laughs> and I remember there was, there was a picture in the tabloids. I mean, really, though, seriously. There was a picture in the tabloids. Not even one. <laughs> there was a picture in the tabloids um, a few years ago. Uh, that had, um, they zoomed in on your feet. <laughs> and there was a whole bunch of white powder around your feet. Oh, it was baby powder. No, because, this, you know this, your girl, if your shoes are too tight, you either put lotion or baby powder so they slide in easier. Gotcha. Ballerinas do it all the time. Gotcha. But seriously, in all honesty, if that were anything else, who's gonna put it in their shoe? <laughs> like, People who want numb feet? Like just, <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not Stevie Nixing this. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, really I, I, I watched you um, on Oprah. I watched all the, of the um, episodes. It seemed like you were, where were you at that particular point in your sobriety? Okay, so I had, I was very, very, you know, very deep into it, but what I didn't really, I should have questioned more how it was gonna feel to move back to New York after living in California after so many years, mm -hmm. moving my whole life back. Mm -hmm having my family around for the first time. Mm -hmm. So I just, I threw myself into it and really threw everything quickly. everything on the floor. And then there's cameras there. There was chaos well, on the floor, designer clothes, but everything. It was a lot, and I <laughs> should have probably, and Oprah was great with me, because I was like, I think I need like a few days just to actually settle yeah. and just realize, and that's my fault. Um, but I, because I really wanted to just start and I wanted to get back into work, whatever kind of work it was. Were you showing up on time? Yeah, I was, but there were times when I was in my bedroom and then there were the camera crews there and I was like, there's just too much stuff, it's too much clutter, you gotta give me like an hour. <laughs> like, <laughs> Would Oprah um, call you up and tell you, no, we don't have an hour, production is expensive? No, I called her a lot because her and I, her and I, our original consensus and mutual idea for the show was one camera and me, instead uh -huh. of a camera crew with uh -huh. coming in. I remember the, the director then that they brought in kind of asked my dad to like, ad lib a few lines, and he's like, I'm not doing that. She, she hears you anyway, she's gonna know. So it became more of a scripted thing rather than until Oprah came back. Mm -hmm. And then it was real. Whenever she was around, I would call her all the time. Um, I just spoke to her the other day, actually. I love that I can say that. I was gonna ask she's you, she's the coolest person ever. That's nice. She really is amazing. And um, I understand. You know, she really was such a guiding light to me in my life. Good, it's nice that you can still speak with her too. And I Lucky. hear you're still close with Tina Fey, who did, of course, Mean Girls, you guys, you know. Yeah, well, she's doing... <laughs> Tina, um, Tina's really, really immersed herself into the Broadway show, so I can't wait to see it. It seems really exciting. Well, I think that you're a terrific actress, and okay. I do believe in second chances. Thank and, you. and even with, you know, the hard partying and, and whatnot, you have a beautiful um, family, all of you all, all, Thank you. You have a beautiful family. You're That's beautiful. <laughs> you still got it. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Um, and Nana, Nana. Would you like a family of your own one day? Yeah, eventually. I mean, I, I really threw myself into working with a lot of children and refugees overseas. 
and I'm, there's you know, specific families that I speak to daily on a daily basis. I'm going back to Turkey to see them soon. Um, so I feel like there's a lot, that I, a lot of love that I have to give and offer to children that don't have anyone mm -hmm. and that have lost their parents and don't really have any light or hope in their life. Mm -hmm. And to be able to bring that to them is my main focus right now. How are you making money? at this particular point. That's not something, you don't do that for that. These kids, no, I mean, no, no, I, it's drawing attention no, for no, them to make money to help them. No, I know, you're supporting the, the kids with an organization, but I'm saying you, Lindsay. Well, I just finished a show called Sick Note, uh -huh. um, and that's, they did the first season in the UK, and soon they'll do my season on the second season in the UK, um, with Rupert Grant and Nick Frost, and um, Matt Lipsy directed it. What's making you uh, global hop as opposed to coming back home to the US? I really enjoy my serenity that I found while living in Dubai. One, it's illegal to have paparazzi. Wow. It's what? banned. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, also it's not a country where you can just, you don't see people going to liquor stores and drinking and that kind of thing. You can go out and have fun, but it's a different kind of fun that you have. And mm -hmm. it's very, I just feel very safe. I have, I have a very safe environment of people and, it's just a different healthy. I mean, it's nice for me to come here, work. I have a lipstick beauty line coming out, mm -hmm. which we'll discuss at some point. Yep. Um, and so that's very exciting. So I can come here, do my work, and then go and look at everything and plan out how I want to plan it. So that when I'm here, it's work and family. Uh -huh. And I really can just uh, enjoy my time when I have my own time. So who's holding you in Dubai? I see an engagement ring. Oh, no, no, I'm doing jewelry line. This I is, see no, an this engagement is mine. <laughs> this is my ring for myself. So who, who's the man? <laughs> I don't have a man. No, really, I don't. Are you single and I dating? I don't want to date anyone right now. I'm like in work mode, I like it. Yeah. I like it, and I have great girlfriends and people around me and my family and relationships, I've had enough of them, <laughs> I'm okay. Would you consider yourself? <laughs> not, not forever, but. <laughs> yeah, well, you're off time, you're only 31. Yeah, I just don't think it's, I don't think, you know, especially when in LA, you're always around other actors and all these different things, mm -hmm. and, and I really like just being okay with being okay with me. Yeah. And I think that it takes a long time in life. I'm 31 years old, and when it happens, it will happen. Now, are you, are, are you, are you sexual? I'm gonna regret saying my age as I do all the time. <laughs> Why? Eventually in life. <laughs> are you sexually fluid? Do you consider yourself sexually fluid? I remember you had a romantic relationship with Samantha Watson. No, I like men. <laughs> okay. Well, but... you liked a girl at one point. Yeah. Yeah. I was living in LA. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where it all goes down. No, no, I'm not. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, um, but no, I'm. I'm not dating right now. Like I would love to see another Mean Girls. I would love to no, see. No, I would too. But I don't. I think they're really focused on the Broadway show right now. Whatever. I've harassed so many times. I would love it's to becoming see a bit stalkerish. <laughs> really? You call people? Oh yeah. I go to SNL when I'm in town. Mm -hmm. I go to Lauren. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Run to Steve Higgins. There was, a, there was a point during Hot Topics when uh, we were talking about people not wanting to work with you, you were uninsurable because you were always late and unpredictable and things like that. Mm -hmm. Are you back to being insurable? I think I've been for a while now. Yeah. I mean, I did sick note, I'm starting a movie that we're filming in Riyadh. It's um, actually the first movie in 35 years that they're, allow they're now allowing women to go to cinemas. And it's, a all, it's an all-female cast. Really? Uh, it's called Frame. And it's a really great story. It's about a girl that comes from America. She leaves her husband and she goes and she starts to understand the culture. And she's a photographer mm. and starts on the culture, understand how the women there, there's fencing is a big thing for women there. So there's a lot of fencing courses and horseback riding and the women kind of take her in to understand why they cover and why they do these so things. So you got, you got that project, you got your lip line. Yep. And which is another source of income. Plus, you're doing something you love. I remember you had your leggings line years ago. I have my club too in Athens, and then we're opening one in Oh, Athens. Excuse <laughs> me. I figured I've gone to enough. I should have wow. my own. <laughs> wow, a club. Yeah, it's called Low Hand Night Club. Um, it's really fun. It's a fun place. Wouldn't that be the worst place for a person um, wanting to be clean to have? No, actually, it's <sighs> really fun to watch other people. Look get, ridiculous. Get trashed. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't. I go like I try to go once every few months. Uh huh. Um, and then in Mykonos we'll do this summer. But that's exciting to me. And I'm discussing designing an island in Dubai, at the World Islands. So I have a lot of little projects there because I like to keep myself busy. So if I'm when I finish filming Sick Note, then I can go back to Dubai, start the lipstick, discuss that, and then design this island, Lohan Island. I'm like trumping, I'm out trumping Trump with the name Lohan. <laughs> so it is Lohan and not Lohan. 
Well, yeah, I mean, I've kind of always said low hand. Low Some hand. people say low end. Uh -huh. It doesn't really matter to me. I mean, <laughs> what is uh, the biggest misconception about you, Lindsay? I think it's hard because it, it's, it is frustrating to me when people always say those, you know, partying days and stuff because I was never really a partier. Like, just because I was seen out at clubs, you know, I made some mistakes. They didn't get the best shots of me. Elizabeth Taylor always said, why do they always take the ugly ones as time goes on? <laughs> Which is true. Um, By the way, that was a fabulous role for you, too. Thank you. I, I was watched. really lucky to be able to play her. Uh -huh. so. um, but it, I don't like when people always bring up and rehash the past. You yeah. know, this is, this is actually quite a long time ago, if you think about it now. Um, and I'd rather just stay focused on what I want to do next. And whenever people bring up the past things that I've experienced and mm -hmm. gone through, like jail, working at the morgue, which is actually really traumatizing stuff. You worked <laughs> like at I the learned, morgue? Yeah, for four months. I learned my lessons. But then it distracts from actually maybe meeting with people to do back roll, maybe meeting doing a Mean Girls too. It really distracts people. And then they only think about the negative. And I don't really think that's a way to move forward in life. I don't think so, though, for you. I mean, just sitting here and talking to you, as soon as you come in the room, I, you, you seem very present and very ready to work and very insurable. And you showed up on time here. Thank you. You know? <laughs> So this could be the beginning of something even bigger for you, uh, you know? I really appreciate what you said, actually, about the show that I was doing in London, which I didn't get time to go to LA and sell it yet. We haven't really discussed that, but you were really supportive of the prank show that I was discussing. I like you! But that was really cool of you, so thank you. Thank you! That was really cool. <laughs> thank you. No, I learned a lot. So, is there anything that I've forgotten? My grandmother approved of that one on the Hot Topics. Oh, she did? Yeah. She thank said you, she grandma. was really nice today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Is there anything that I've left out? No, it's really great to see you, and thank you for having me, and thank you for having my whole family. And thank you. Thank you for bringing them all. <laughs> for more information about her projects, go to wendyshow.com. Give it up again for Lindsay Lohan. Love you for watching. See you next time on Wendy. Bye. We're clear. Hey, wait, hey, don't go anywhere. This clip is over, but don't worry. I got gotcha. you. Head over to wendyshow.com to watch celebrity interviews, exclusive backstage videos, the inside scoop, and the full segment of Juicy Hot Topics. See it first and see it all now at the new wendyshow.com.